I think for me, you get, getting over someone in a relationship is a lot easier than getting over someone who died, I think, because at least that person's still there. But I think when you lose someone in terms of bereavement, you could just be kicking about one day, and I don't know, you see a melon, and you think, oh, my grandmother loved melons. That sounds, <laughs> my grandmother loved melons. Six months after I wrote, I wrote the original melodies, I'm in a session with friends of mine called TMS and Romans. We're just kind of messing about with this other idea that's very uncharacteristically for me, upbeat and very happy. I show them that these melodies, and they're like, cool, let's, let's, let's work on this. this. This seems like it's got legs. I think it was one of them that said, you don't actually, ha you know you don't have to write a song about your relationship that broke up, which sounds very simple. But once you've been doing it for three years, like writing about that same relationship, it's, it's, it's very hard to get yourself out of that space. I just didn't want to write about me again necessarily, like so directly about me and my experiences. I wanted to keep it broad for people to kind of find their own thing. Because that's one of my favourite things about playing shows is people coming up to you and being like, this is why I love this song and this is the story that it connects. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I love that. So um, I thought, let's, let's write a song. It's less about me, so it kind of takes the pressure off writing about, you know, death. I'm going on during this time, I feel there's no one to save me. This all and nothing really go away, you're driving me crazy. When things are great, they're brilliant, and everything's amazing, and you're kind of like, it seems like nothing could go wrong, and then just over the course of like a week, things can just turn, and then you've got all this, all this stuff, like, oh, that, 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 that is just so much pressure or whatever it is, do you know what I mean? And um, yeah, it does, it can just sometimes feel like you're going a bit mad. Without that other person there, it just, it's harder to kind of uh, consolidate your thoughts a bit and, and it just feels like everything's a bit of a muddle. I need somebody to heal, somebody to know, somebody to hurt, somebody to hold. They're bringing in this new law, I think it's at UK wide now, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that, but um, we have to opt out of organ donation now. So you say, I don't want to be an organ donor as opposed to yes, I'll be one. And I was like, it'd be amazing to kind of raise awareness for these charities. It was Live Life, Give Life and Save Nine Lives. It was cool to kind of have that have something else, there was another story that applied to it. It was initially a very emotional thing and not the physical aspect of it, but then you kind of start to interpret your own songs differently. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I get so kind of like the way you numbed all the pain. You don't even know that someone being there is numbing the pain until they're gone. And then you're like, oh my God, was this just kind of lurking underneath everything the whole time? And it was just because I had this person there to kind of help me through things that it wasn't so you know, I don't know, piercing or so prevalent. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. At like three in the morning is when I'm like best, like in terms of like, I feel like I'm getting the most out. And I think it's because everyone's asleep. Plus I think at 3 a.m. melancholy really sets in and it, you just feel like, I said melancholy really weird there, but, <laughs> but it just kind of like sets in. It's like you kind of think about your feelings a bit more like on both spectrums of things. So yeah, I've spent many, many, many like early, late nights, early mornings just kind of banging my head against a, a keyboard or a guitar and nothing coming out. You're not here to give me through it all. You know, I love going through all the motions. I still think about like a girl when I was in primary school or grade school who never held my hand at the school dance. In Scotland you do this thing called social dancing and it's like, Kaylee dancing, so it's all like traditional Scottish dances that you do at Christmas and everyone, you get the inevitable people are like sliding their jumpers down because they don't want to hold hands with you and like, they're like, or they don't ha hold hands with you at all or the teacher has to tell them to hold hands with you and it's like, I still relive that shit on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I'm on God too, either you pulled the rug I was getting kind of used to being so alone. I always write my songs four months after the fact. Like, or, or that's like roughly, like, do you know what I mean? A couple of months removed from the thing happening. Because I think one, when I'm in something, it's very hard to like, as I say, like consolidate the thoughts and be like, okay, what am I feeling here? Once you've had that kind of space from the actual, the thing happening, it's like, oh, I can, I can actually see where I went wrong in that and where, where they went wrong and where, do you know what I mean? How things ended. It's not just like a, a song where I'm like, you know, you're a fucking dick and I hate you. 
I'm going under and this time I feel there's no one to turn to. This all or nothing way of loving got me sleeping without you. I get lonely, but not more as much as as everything else, and I'm very fortunate that internet porn exists, so uh, I'm, all, I'm all good. But yeah, but the thing is, like all my band and crew, they all have like girlfriends and boyfriends or husbands back at home, and it's like that kind of distance from them would be more upsetting than just being single and not having to think about it. Like, I miss like my, my parents and my friends and stuff, but I don't have like this person who I'm trying to like cultivate a, a romantic relationship with while I'm halfway across the world. So I feel, I kind of feel more for, for them in that respect, although they'll probably feel for me that I think internet porn is a substitute for, for love. <laughs> no, I need somebody to know, somebody to heal, somebody to hurt, just to know how it feels. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess you kind of like the way you help me escape. In general, escaping things I don't see as a bad thing. Like, the busier I get, the more I find kind of little escapes to kind of go off and kind of switch off from things. But not, it's not like I'm like, oh, this is too much, I need to get away. It's just like, it's good for your, you know, I think your, your sanity and your mental health to kind of just be a bit like, okay, I'm just going to switch off from that for now and I'm just going to, go off and do something else for at least, even if it's 20 minutes, do you know what I mean? Like watch internet porn. And I ain't trying to close my eyes when it hurts sometimes I fall into your arms So be safe for yourself till I come back around I kind of saw that bit as like a dream, almost. Do you know how like sometimes you'll have a dream where someone who maybe has passed away or a girlfriend or whatever, ex-girlfriend or whatever, and or a friend, you're just in that, you're back there with them at, the t at one of those times. When I'm really, really struggling, I'll just have to like really try and close my eyes and think back to what would you say if you were here now or what would we have done if, you know, we had broke up at this point, do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I see that as kind of like a resolve to it. And it's like just trying to take a moment to breathe. I never thought I'd be in a position where someone was asking me about my lyrics. I would never have thought this, like, it would have got as, as mental as it's got off the back of it, but um, I'm fucking glad it has because I really need to move it to my mum and dad's house and uh, hopefully we can do that at some point.